So we haven't tested a tabletop USB mic for a while. So we went on the old Amazon, figured we'd pick up some stuff for you guys just to see because we know how important it is this, this day and age. More people working from home, more people, you know, trying to do YouTube stuff or just want better quality. I've had more people in the last month reach out to me to be like, hey, like friends and family, hey, what gear do I need? And the majority of them, of course, don't want to spend a lot of money. They just want their stuff to be better. So I figured why not go online and take a look at some stuff that's a little, little more uh, budget friendly. So this is, I don't even know the brand. Maybe it's Budboff. It says USB microphone for computer, Budboff condenser PC mic for Mac or Windows. Brand, yeah, brand, Budboff. Budboff. Anybody heard of Budboff? Not I. Anyway, this is the box it comes in. Um, looks like mic stand, USB, good. Right now, three ratings, five stars, that's awesome, right? It comes with everything that you need. So even if you were shooting with a webcam, you know, webcam is great, your image is great, but if your sound is crap, I'm just saying it, if it's garbage, then that's what people realize, right? So if you can spend $40 and get yourself a little mic, maybe that's good, right? And this mic here, just so you guys can see it, um, plugs in by USB. The one thing I like on it, it, it comes with a tripod, I believe, a little, little tiny tripod stand, same that you can kind of see, I'm, I'm guessing, with a lot of like webcams. Um, but it has here, this one here, intelligent noise reduction. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that because I think uh, if you can get good sound for 40 bucks, why, why would you necessarily need to spend more, right? So we'll take a look at what the, is in the box. We'll take a look at what's in the box. Yep, we will connect it to my Mac and we'll do a, we'll do a little sound recording. Yes, yes. All right, coming up. All right, here is, like I said, the box. If you wanna see specs, there's some specs right there. Realize, this is the big thing, realize you're spending $40. Professional mics can easily range, you know, hundreds of dollars up to thousands of dollars. Um, but a cool thing, PC mic, it also says that it works with Xbox PS4. So if you're looking at maybe doing some like video game streaming, maybe this is something to look at as well, right? Static noise reduction, cardioid polar pattern, solid, sturdy design. Awesome, all kinds of stuff you need. Here's the back, just so you guys can see it. Uh, keep far away between the microphone and the loudspeaker for feedback, I'm guessing. Uh, applicable for karaoke, voice chat recording, or, or webcasts. Plug it in, make sure you set it to the right input on your computer, and you should be ready to rock and roll. All right, here it is, ready? We get, whatever, garbage. We get a USB-B to USB-A cable, so I'm gonna have to run an adapter, okay? We have a condenser microphone manual. There you go, a little manual there, so it talks about how you could connect it with like scissor arms or a little stand or, or whatever, but little color, text text is big enough to read, so that's, that's good. Sometimes you get these, a lot of times you get these, and you're like, well, that's useless. This is a little on the beat up side, but, I'm sure that this is your mic phone. Once you put it on there, give it give it a you know a couple hours, a couple days, and she'll she'll right back out again. So not that big a concern. Oh yeah. So there's your little tiny tripod. Yes, we're gonna use it. Oh yeah, we are. Right. And right now, just so you guys are aware, uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. Uh, right here, out of shot. Here, out of shot, you guys can't see it. Um, there's my microphone, which is a shotgun mic, and uh, it's, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars. Not that I'm saying it's inexpensive, but I want you guys to compare the sound that you get from this, because this is running through this with a boom into um, something that supplies phantom power that goes out. It's, it's a big, it's a big ordeal, right? Okay, so there's your little, there's your little tripod. That's okay. It's a little tripod. I'm okay with that. You get. Um, it's actually better quality than I thought it was going to be. You get this little fella, which is where your mic's going to go into. And this, that's kind of nice. This screws onto this. It's all, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you don't need this. What do, what do they have it set up for here? Oh, no, they do. Yep, for sure. They have this, maybe. I can't tell. That is going... 
that is definitely going into that. This though, maybe it's multi pieces because I don't see that. I think this piece can come off and if you're hooking it in maybe some other way, you would use this because this with the tripod just goes on. So I'm guessing this maybe would be if you're putting it maybe on a different like a like a like a three eighth inch like a boom arm or something like that. You would use that because this that's just going on there. So I'm removing that because I'm just using the tr the included tripod. Yes. So there we go. Very nice. And then we get our we get our mic, which I like because it's a little. And again, for those of us or you that are just looking at getting into this, you may not have a ton of desk space, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then this will go one way. What is it, is it this way? I'm guessing it's this way. Maybe. Screw that on there. All coming together. Right? Get it how you want. Like so. Right? Just kind of very nice. You guys can see the back there. Tighten that up. My guess is this piece you could tighten if you wanted to. I'm just going to let it sit like that. Yeah, so you want it, the microphone, you can see, in, you guys may be able to see that. You can kind of see the microphone in there, right? So you want to talk into it. Don't talk into it this way. You want to talk into it this way, okay? So we're going to put that, we're going to put that like right there, okay? I'll just lean in close when we're talking so I get, because that's, that's the one thing you want in here too, right? You're not going to set this like way over here. Even my mic, like I said, it's just out of shot. So this is coming here. We're going to just get that toward me. Okay, I like what's happening here. I like what's happening. All right, and then what we're gonna do is this. This is getting plugged in. And then we're, we're off to the races. Yep, all right. So, USB-B, as I said, USB-B, that's going in here. All right, and I'm gonna stop my screen recording here. And we're going to actually start it back up in a second. Where's my adapter? So for the Mac, I need an adapter for those of you that have USB-A ports. Rub it in. I get it. But um, that's going in there. I get a little power indicator. You guys should be able to see that, hopefully. You know, a little green. Now, it also said, just to adjust my... There's my I'm going to put it right, kind of like right in the middle. If I hold this... Yeah, you see it just goes blue, which is the noise reduction. So... I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do something here. Hold on. I'm going to before we start this cuz we have noise reduction off. I'm going to come back here. I have a fan. Now, this is again coming out of my main mic. So, what I'm going to do here, what I'm doing here is we're going to start another recording and I'm going to change yeah, microphone. So, I'm going to go to the USB audio. All right. Record. Now, this is I'm gonna bring this closer. This should be coming out of this microphone. And like I said, I've got this set to about, looks like middle, okay? So there is no like headphone on here. So if you want to be able to monitor this, you can't plug it straight in. This is with no noise reduction. Um, but you could monitor by plugging, I would think, into your actual headphones on your computer. But a lot of people like to be able to hear the input coming in here. And I get that for sure. Um, but now, now you're hearing that. So. Listen to see if you can hear the fan. My guess would there would be a bit of a hum. Anything? Do you hear that? I'll be quiet. If you hear a hum, that, that hum is that little fan back there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold this and get that noise reduction. So the little light has gone blue. You guys can see that it's gone blue there. You just kind of push your volume button in for like a second. And now we've got the noise reduction turned on. So you'll be able to hear if there's any difference or much of a difference because it should be pulling out some ambient sounds, anything that's kind of got a hum to it or anything that's got a, a continuous sound to it, right? So I'll be quiet for a second here, see if you guys can hear the fan. I have no idea, right? I don't know. Okay, so I am now going to stop all these. I'm stopping all these cameras. And I'm going to go take a listen to this and uh, we'll be back and I'll let you know if it's $40 well spent. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. One sec. Okay. So I've had a chance to listen and I don't know if I heard a lot of difference between, between when the mic noise reduction was on or off. 
but uh, in both instances, it actually sounded really good. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm always amazed a little bit uh, at what kind of gear, what kind of quality you can get from th things that are like fairly inexpensive. This is forty dollars. You know, if you just want again, if you're like doing Zoom calls or you're doing FaceTime chats or whatever, I don't know, whatever you're doing, but you want better audio that's coming out of your computer or your webcam, $40, you know? And the, the nice thing is, is, you take this and you bring this up nice and close, right? And you talk kind of in here. That sounds so good. Now, don't expect it to be great if it's way back here. It's just not gonna have that kind of pattern to be able to pick up. But you place that here, you turn the noise reduction on, you know, you're like me and the room's getting a little toasty, so you turn the fan on, it's okay, you're all right, you know, it's not, it's not doing anything, it's not picking it up. Yeah, I think for $40, uh, very, very pleased. And the nice thing is too is that you can, especially if you're doing like editing where you're using this for audio like I would be doing, I can take that into whatever, Premiere or DaVinci or Final Cut or whatever you guys are using. And you can go in and play with the audio and be like, oh, I like it a little more bassy or I like it a little more trebly or I like it to be whatever. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice clean audio source that comes in that you can play with. So yeah, for 40 bucks, no, no complaints. I think that's really good. It's just going to take your audio game up a notch for those of you that are just using like camera audio or you're just using your computer microphones or etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah very good uh, I'll put links down below if you guys are interested in this I think from a brand that I've never ever heard of no like who is who is bud boff bud boff I don't know I don't know who they are but they make a decent mic yeah they do all right my friends links down below if you guys are interested like I said uh, 40 bucks and that's it like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell down there, down there, and we will see you guys tomorrow, next video. Later, my friends.